Hey guys, this is Billy from AdultChillo.com and today I have a five minute warm up for beginners and we're gonna focus on tone, okay? So that's the right hand, right arm. I, I think this is one of the best things to focus on when you talk about warming up. It's actually what I do to this day when I think about warming up, I think about what I'm doing with the bow. I wanna make a beautiful sound, whether it's on open strings or on a scale, whatever I'm doing, I want a beautiful sound because I'm also trying to warm up my ear get a real, and warm up the instrument, everything gets warmed up and you feel really like tuned in to the sound you're making and then you try to keep that great sound no matter what you're doing later on in your practice, okay? So let's go ahead and put five minutes on the clock. All right, and let's get started. So you can do this on an open string or a fingered note. I'm gonna do it on a fingered note, but feel free to do it on your open string. First thing we're gonna do is what I call two inch bows, okay? so. We're basically just gonna pull the bow for about two inches and you just wanna have, you're gonna activate the sound with the first finger, okay? And you're just trying to get a really clean start to the sound and then just a nice ribbon of sound each time. Okay, so like this. Okay, so you just want to really feel that first finger in control and it's almost like you feel every millimeter of bow you're expending and then you stop and you should hear a little bit of ring afterwards. Okay, let's, so those were two inch bows, let's do four inch bows. So we'll do basically five pulses, okay? Here we go, ready and... <laughs> Okay, and again, you can double up on this. This is just a five minute quick warm up. Then we're gonna go ahead and do three of those pulses for one bow, okay? So here we go, ready and. And coming back. Great, you know what's next? Two pulses for one bow, ready and. And coming back. Great. And then, as you guessed, one pulse per bow. Ready, and. And back. My hope is that by the time you've gotten to basically playing one, you know, just down bow, one up bow, you still have that sense in your first finger that, that you're really in control. This is a good way of making sure that you don't skid out in the middle of the bow. It's very easy for, well, anyone, but especially adult learners early in their cello journey, you have kind of a confident area and then you've got an area where it just kind of skids out and the sound quality loses. Okay, that's why we're so focused on the first finger activating the string. Okay, now we're gonna do a little variation so we're gonna bow, just one single bow all the way down, but I'm now I'm gonna pulse six times as I bow. Okay, so let me just show you <laughs> instead of trying to explain that verbally. Okay, so here we go, ready, and. Okay, and coming back. So I'm just wah, 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 it's like, like stepping on the gas pedal with on a car, okay? First finger, wah, wah. Let's do that one more time. Great, okay, now let's go ahead and we'll do three per bow. Ready, and. And back. And then go ahead and do two. Ready, and. And back. And now just one. And back. 
okay? So this is all in the effort to develop even more sense of control and having kind of a sticky grip of, of with the hair and the string and so we don't end up kind of skidding out and just sending the arm back and forth without really feeling every little millimeter of bow we expend, okay? So, there you go. Now, if you want to take this a step further, there's a couple things you could do. One would be you could do any of these pulsing, you know, ones we did, either with the stops or just as I'm bowing, like pulse, pulse, pulse. You could do that with the scale. You could also do ones where you pulse even more frequently. So if I was going to do, let's say I was going to do 12. Okay, so that's, that's 12 and 1 trying to measure out the bow and also have a really good sense of control with the right hand. Um, but anyway, that's a really good way to kind of get in touch with your sound production, make a beautiful sound, and feel warmed up in five minutes. All right, so if you enjoyed that, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.